was on the ground. The sheet wasn't on him yet. I remember. So you saw all of that. Um, I jumped out the car. And so crazy is my car. So let's go. Okay, I jumped out the car. I seen him there. And I was trying to get to him. But the police was like, I can't come because, I mean, I can't get by him because it's a crime scene. Right. Right. But I'm throwing up and I'm trying to get to him at the same time. So I'm fighting them. And I just remember they the coroner finally came. They put the sheet on him. And they took him to the funeral home. And then I went to the funeral home. And as I walked in there, there was a bathroom, like like a school bathroom, mm-hmm. right? And I remember just sitting there, and I prayed. <sighs> yeah. Here. So I prayed. And when I prayed, I... Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So when you, and I, and I, I, I gotta go back to, to that night when, you, when, you, when this happens, you are where? I'm asleep. At, how far is your house from there? It was 26 miles, I think it was. 26 miles. So you are at home sleep. Who calls you? How do you get informed that little Snoop has been shot or murdered or how was it told to you? Uh, there was a neighbor. Her daughter had was in the town that it happened in, and she had a, um, what do you call it, scanner. Okay. And I think the vehicle, she had seen Snoop in the vehicle earlier, and that scanner was mentioned that vehicle. Mm-hmm. Her mom came and was beating on the door. and I'm What thinking, time was this? It was at 4. In the morning. In the morning. I thought that it was Snoop because of the way she beat. That's the mm-hmm. way he beats. Yeah. So I didn't think nothing, but, like, let me just unlock this door for him at okay. this point, right? And, um. I could just hear, I said, who is it? And she was like, you got to come quick. It's a bad call. Um, they done killed your baby. Oh, she mm. told you. What did you just broke down? I opened the door. She probably disbelief. Yeah, I opened the door, but you know you, you know how when you hear something, you can't comprehend it? Yeah. yeah. So I didn't have no clothes on, and I'm just like, I need to put some clothes on. And my clothes were in my face, but I couldn't register that there was clothes in my face. Mm-hmm. So it took me a while to grab that together, and I'm like, okay, now I need to drive here, right? And because at the time, Snoop was always in my car, I'm going to let y'all know I'm real petty. Like, I'm not going to put gas in here for you. So since you're driving it, then I'm going to keep it on E. Right. And so my car was on E. Mm. So I had to get in my car. Um, At the time, I was in a relationship with someone that was there. He was like, you don't need to drive, you know. But I'm like, if you're not going to do 100, then I'm going to drive. Right. So I had to stop and pump gas first. And then, whatever reason, I called Meek's manager um, at the time. I don't even know. I can't even, like, even now, I'll be like, why did I call him of all people? Like, I got a mom, I got a, you know, this, and I just called him, and he called Meek on three-way. So, I'm still thinking it's a lie because that small town, my phone should have been blowing up. Somebody mm-hmm. should have been calling, saying something. It was quiet the whole way there. But they didn't know yet because she heard it on a scanner. So, yeah, they don't, but people it don't, they, takes five seconds. It's every, it was so many people out there. There's no way. Yeah. I think people just didn't want to call me, maybe. Because mm. there's no way nobody knew by the time I got there. Right. Um, so, and you I, went to the scene? Oh, yeah, I was there. Yeah, and he was go. still there. He was on the ground. The sheet wasn't on him yet. I remember. So, you saw all of that. Um, I jumped out the car. And so crazy is my car. So let's go. Okay, I jumped out the car. I seen him there, and I was trying to get to him, but the police was like, I can't come because, I mean, I can't get by him because it's a crime scene. Right. Right. But I'm throwing up, and I'm trying to get to him at the same time, so I'm fighting them. And I just remember they the coroner finally came. They put the sheet on him, and they took him to the funeral home, and then I went to the funeral home, and as I walked in there, there was a bathroom, like like a school bathroom, mm-hmm. right? And I remember just sitting there, and I prayed. <sighs> yeah. Here. So I prayed. And when I prayed, I got up. And I just remember um, there was a lady. Well, you know, the funeral home person, the lady. And she was there. And so she was holding on to me, and she said, um, you know, before you go over here, and she was talking but I could see Snoop a little bit in the body bag, kind of in my vision as she's talking to me. And she was saying how she had a son and blah, blah. And I said, ma'am, I said, is your son dead? She said, no. I said, well, get your hands off me. Mm-hmm. I can imagine that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.